We all know sugar isn't our best mate, especially when it comes to our blood. It's a well-known fact that consuming too much sugar can lead to a host of health issues, from weight gain to diabetes. But have you ever wondered how your body keeps track of all that sugar? Too much of the sweet stuff floating around and our bodies start throwing a right royal tantrum. This can manifest in various ways, such as feeling sluggish, experiencing mood swings, or even developing more serious conditions like insulin resistance. That's where HbA1c comes in. It's like a blood sugar diary, keeping tabs on your average levels over the past few months. Unlike a regular blood sugar test that gives you a snapshot of your current levels, the HbA1c test provides a broader picture of your blood sugar control over time. Imagine it as a little detective in your bloodstream, revealing whether you've been indulging in too many sticky toffee puddings. This detective doesn't lie. It gives an honest account of your dietary habits, making it an invaluable tool for both you and your healthcare provider. Think of your red blood cells as tiny vans, diligently transporting oxygen around your body. These vans are crucial for keeping your organs and tissues well oxygenated, ensuring that your body functions smoothly. Now imagine sugar as a mischievous hitchhiker hopping onto these vans and leaving a sticky residue. This residue can interfere with the van's ability to do their job effectively, leading to various health complications. That residue, my friends, is what we call HbA1c. It's essentially sugar that has attached itself to your red blood cells, and the more sugar you consume, the more HbA1c you'll have. The more sugar in your blood, the more hitchhikers, and the stickier those vans get. This stickiness can make it harder for your red blood cells to move freely, potentially leading to blockages and other issues. An HbA1c test gives us a snapshot of this sticky situation, measuring the percentage of sugar-coated red blood cells. This measurement helps doctors understand how well your blood sugar levels have been controlled over the past two to three months. A normal range typically falls below 5.7% indicating that your blood sugar levels are well managed and within a healthy range. While anything above 6.5% rings alarm bells, signalling a higher risk of type 2 diabetes. This is a critical threshold that requires immediate attention and lifestyle changes to prevent further complications. This little test is a powerful tool, helping us keep an eye on our blood sugar and make healthier choices. By understanding our HbA1c levels, we can take proactive steps to improve our diet, exercise more, and ultimately lead a healthier life. Now, let's talk about low-carb diets. The darlings of the dieting world promising to banish those pesky blood sugar spikes, and they're not all wrong. By cutting back on carbohydrates, the usual culprits behind those sugar highs and lows, Low-carb diets can be quite helpful in keeping your blood sugar stable. Imagine your body as a car. Carbohydrates are like petrol, providing quick bursts of energy. But too much petrol, and the engine gets flooded. Low-carb diets swap out some of that petrol for a slower-burning fuel, like fat, resulting in a smoother, more consistent energy flow. This steadier blood sugar is music to the ears of anyone battling diabetes or simply wanting to improve their metabolic health. No more dramatic sugar crashes or cravings. It's like swapping a wild roller coaster ride for a leisurely stroll in the park. But here's where things get a bit interesting. You'd think that with all this blood sugar stability, HbA1c levels would plummet on a low carb diet. But hold on a minute. Sometimes, even with perfectly behaved blood sugar, that HbA1c reading might not budge as much as expected or even creep up a bit. This, my friends, is where the plot thickens. Remember those red blood cell vans? Well, it turns out that low-carb diets can make them a bit more durable. Like a classic car lovingly maintained, these cells start hanging around a bit longer, clinging onto their sugar souvenirs for a tad longer than usual. So, even if your blood sugar is beautifully balanced, those long-living red blood cells can paint a slightly skewed picture when it comes to your HbA1c. It's like judging a book by its cover. The story inside your actual blood sugar control might be far better than the cover your HbA1c reading suggests. Section 4. Red blood cells on a diet living longer, telling a different story. Now why do these red blood cells become so resilient on a low-carb diet? 
It's a fascinating question that has intrigued scientists for years. The answer lies in the unique environment created by such diets, Well, it's all about the environment they're in. When you switch to a low-carb diet, you're essentially changing the landscape in which these cells operate. This new environment is less hostile and more supportive of their longevity. Low-carb diets, especially those very low in carbs like the ketogenic diet, can alter the body's chemistry. This alteration is not just superficial, it goes deep into the cellular level, affecting how cells function and survive. They can influence things like inflammation and oxidative stress, which can impact cell lifespan. Reduced inflammation means less cellular damage and lower oxidative stress means cells can function more efficiently. Imagine your bloodstream as a bustling city. In this city, red blood cells are like tiny vehicles navigating through the streets. The smoother the traffic, the longer these vehicles can last without breaking down. A high-carb diet is like constant rush hour creating wear and tear on those red blood cell vehicles. The congestion and chaos lead to quicker deterioration and a shorter lifespan for these cells. But a low-carb diet, that's like a peaceful Sunday morning drive. Less stress, less damage, and a longer lifespan for those little red workhorses. This serene environment allows them to function optimally and live longer. This extended lifespan is fascinating, but it throws a bit of a spanner in the works when it comes to interpreting HbA1c results. HbA1c is a common blood test used to measure average blood sugar levels over the past three months. It's like using an old-fashioned clock in the age of digital timekeeping. The clock still works, but it might not be as accurate as we'd like. The longer lifespan of red blood cells can skew HbA1c results making them appear lower than they actually are. This is an important consideration for both patients and healthcare providers. So at compositioncontalton.com, where your journey to peak performance and optimal health begins. With a degree in human nutrition and over 15 years of training experience, I've guided more than 400 carnivores to not just meet, but exceed their physique and performance goals. Through personalized consultations, comprehensive ebooks, and dedicated coaching, I'm here to ensure your success. Join the ranks of those who have transformed their lives. It's time to align your physique goals with positive health outcomes. Visit compositionconsultant.com today and take the first step towards the best version. Section 5 The Science Bit Studies and Surprises. Don't worry, we're not just making this up. The science behind this is both fascinating and a bit surprising. Several studies have observed this intriguing phenomenon of higher HbA1c in people on low-carb diets, despite improved blood sugar control. This means that even though their daily blood sugar levels are well managed, their HbA1c readings tell a different story. One study by Jensen et al. in 2021 found that individuals following a ketogenic diet had higher HbA1c levels than those on a standard diet, even though their blood sugar levels were similar. This was a groundbreaking discovery that challenged conventional wisdom. Another study by Zhang et al. in 2020 echoed these findings, suggesting that the increase in red blood cell lifespan might be responsible for the discrepancy between HbA1c and actual blood sugar control in low-carb dieters. This means that the cells live longer, accumulating more sugar over time. These studies highlight the importance of looking beyond a single test result. It's crucial to consider the broader picture when evaluating health metrics. Just like you wouldn't judge a cake solely on its frosting, though let's be honest, frosting is important, you need to look at the whole cake to understand its true quality. Similarly, we can't judge blood sugar control based on HbA1c alone, especially in the context of low-carb diets. It's essential to use a combination of tests and observations to get a complete picture of one's health. Build muscle and lose fat on the carnivore diet. 